In this tutorial, we will cover how to apply basic rotational joints. And this will allow you to export a working drive base and any other rotational parts to your robot. The first step is to ensure all moving pieces are promoted to the master assembly level. If this has not already been done, please check out our video on restructuring assemblies linked below. Once all assemblies are on the master level, you can begin jointing. If you have bumpers, it's helpful to make them invisible by right-clicking them and unchecking the visibility box. To make them visible again, go to the browser, right-click the part, and click visibility. This robot model does not have bumpers, so we will continue. To add wheel joints, first drag wheels away from the robot to make it easier to view both the wheel and axle. To add the joint, go to the assembly tab and select the joint function. Within the joint window, choose a rotational joint. Then, select the center point on your wheel. A trick to making sure you have the correct center point is to find the face where you want to have the connection point and holding the control key so you can jump to any connection point on that face. Once you've selected your center point on the wheel, select the point on your axle that you want the wheel to rotate around. If you want to adjust your wheel offset, you can drag the orange arrow so that the wheel moves to its desired location or you can edit the gap within the joint menu. When you're done configuring, click OK. Repeat this step for all wheels and rotating components. If you mess up on selecting a point, there's no need to cancel the option. You can edit the connection points by clicking on the 1 and 2 in the joint menu. To learn more about adding limits to joints and jointing manipulators with linear motion, see our advanced jointing tutorial. 